What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 74 and today people, I want to talk about the H1Z1 Open Beta. If you guys have not played it yet on PS4, try it out, it's actually free to play. And by the way, for those Skyrim fans, yes, I will be returning tomorrow to live streaming, so do not worry, this is just a video that I wanted to make. So anyways, moving on to the game guys, I've been playing it over the past few days and I've played like around a total of 4 matches, 3 of them which I ended up in the top 10 in my first 4 matches. What the hell? <laughs> I can't even pull that off in Fortnite, but over here I'm like, you know, doing alright. But at least you can kind of tell how much competition is in this game because, you know, I'm no good in Fortnite. I'm probably not even good in PUBG. So H1Z1 might be my cup to tot, especially since there's not a lot of competition in this game. But uh, it's really like our only option on PS4. I'm not going to play Fortnite because, well, it's pretty much a lot of building, a lot of speed that you gotta have, you know, a lot of movement going on. It's a lot faster than H1Z1 for sure. You see a lot of people acting like high on cocaine and pretty much just like turning around 360 and killing it right away with a pump shotgun. In this game, well, you got a variety of weapons, which is good. You know, we gotta sell some good assault rifles, some single shots, some snipers, which allow you to keep your distance from the enemy. And also, the map is wide open, so pretty much you're gonna rely a lot on assault rifles and single shot weapons, which I kind of like. It's more moderate. It's more better than uh, you know than all these other toy guns on Fortnite. Now, I'm not saying that Fortnite is bad. I'm just saying that you know it's better for me to play realistic games than you know a bunch of building games, which is pretty much fun still, but. It's just that I cannot keep up with that kind of competition. So H1Z1 really, really kind of fulfill my wish of like uh, the division being Battle Royale mode, really, or Ghost Recon being Battle Royale, which they should have done a long time ago. I kind of enjoy more of the modern weapon kind of style games than uh, you know those toy guns from Fortnite, like I said. So. Um, one thing I would like to say is that there's not a lot of variety in customization. I know people are going to be saying like, oh, you just got to buy all these other, you know, DLC packages and the game has to offer to customize your character. But in reality, I mean, you cannot customize your hair, you cannot customize how your character looks uniquely. So, um, which is alright, I guess, you know, character customization is not that big of a deal. It's just that if they're going to put the, the option, they better give us a lot more freedom than what we have right now than just pure DLC cosmetics. So anyways, moving on to the weaponry selection, I mean, it does look like it has less than Fortnite, but uh, I enjoy the modern style weapons, which is good, you know, I, I, I enjoy the regular scope, the regular ACOG side, the regular, you know, red dot side, it gives me more of a, you know, Call of Duty feeling, kind of a Rainbow Six Siege feeling, and with all that training with Rainbow Six Siege, I mean, I'm doing kind of similar to it, it's like the same, you know, movement style that I have in that game, so I'm using that knowledge over to this game and it's just i'm like man i'm gonna win this for sure at some point so far i only have two second place spots and one that was like like place 39 and then the other one was place number five and you'll see it later on in this game um another thing is how's the connection you know how's the internet how's it running is it running smooth and all that stuff um, for reals, it is kind of running okay-ish, you know, I don't see that big of a deal, but for sure when it's over, when it's like a regular game instead of an open beta, for sure we're going to see a lot of internet issues because they're going to try to improve on the gameplay, and a little bit on the details on the game, so, um, expect a lot of, you know, internet connection problems in the future, but for right now, it doesn't seem to have a, that big of a deal. Um, another thing I would like to talk about will be the vehicle selection, I mean, it's a, it's pretty cool, really, to be honest, I never expected this in a Battle Royale game. Even though I have seen PUBG over the past year, but you know, since I don't have PUBG, I have no experience whatsoever using vehicles in the game like this. So this is the first time I jump into it, and I'm telling you, it's pretty fun. It's much fun than Fortnite running around and worrying about open spaces. Now I don't really care about open spaces in this game. I can just drive around and let my car protect me. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool option. I enjoy it, and um, but I like this option a lot. You know, me allowing me to drive around, and I'm a big fan of racing games. You can bet I'm going to be using a vehicle like half of the time in this game. Let's just hope nobody's waiting for me to use it though. Because I have seen that. People waiting for me to jump into the car and I'm just getting shot at. And I already experienced that in this little gameplay right here in the background. So, um, and by the way, just look at the background, man. I cannot believe I shot this guy like two times and he didn't die. And then there's another moment where I shot a guy, a guy like for four times in a row and he didn't die with his weapon. What the hell is going on here, man? <laughs> Don't make me yell like this is Call of Duty all over again, so... So yeah, like H1Z1 is not that big of a deal, I know it's not that popular at all, but this is our only option to have a modern Battle Royale game on PS4. 
I kind of wish PUBG would jump over to PS4, you know, I really think that game will be a lot better than H1Z1, but this is like our, think about it, think about it like a, like a beta towards PUBG for sure, and uh, let's just hope they do jump ship over to the PS4, man, I just can't wait to play that game, and will I be live streaming H1Z1 in the future? Yes, but I might do it on Twitch only though, since, you know, I am growing my channel around Skyrim, you know, it's kind of a... Uh, Taking away a little bit of the flow of the shooter games genre in this channel, so um, it's a little bit sad. But I'll try to do something. I'll try to, you know, try to do, try to plan out this out, you know, pretty much better than than what I did in the previous years. Just don't want to mess up my fan base. So that is it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you guys want to play the open beta with me, just add me on PS4. My information is in my description. And uh, what do I think? What's my final grade for this game? And the map also didn't talk about the map. It's okay, so I mean it's Battle Royale. Pretty much don't expect a lot of buildings. Um, I want to give this game a 7 out of 10. There's a lot of room for improvement, but for sure we're going to see that in the future. So that is it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and I'll see you guys later.